Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today we're going to uh, use Note Repeat in Logic Pro X. Note Repeat allows you to uh, use your MIDI keyboard uh, to play a, a note continuously. Uh, so the best way to describe that is, uh, let me bring it up really quick here. So we're going to go into our tools and hit Note Repeat. Now I have a, a shortcut set for this. Uh, the way to do that is, on your keyboard basically. The way to do that is by going to Logic Pro X, Key Commands, and then Edit. Type in the word note up in the search field up top right here. And then, um, <clears throat> as you can see here, note repeat, I have the close bracket button uh, set to, uh, you know, enable and disable it. Um, you could simply click on uh, note repeat here, then learn by key position, and then hitting that key on the keyboard that you want to use. Uh, so this way, you know, makes the workflow a little easier and faster for you. Uh, but again, you can just simply uh, go here and then use the note repeat right here. Now, <clears throat> when you first open it up, it looks like this little black box. Um, what you want to do is expand it, and then you want to enable key remote. Okay, so key, key remote basically tells um, the note repeat tool or, or plugin how you want to play your, uh, your notes. So you can uh, do regular time, one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty-two, yada, yada, yada. And then, uh, you know, you can go into your triplets too. So uh, one quarter triplet, one eighth triplet, etc., etc. All right, so um, I have a, a kick, a snare, and a clap, or two snares and a clap already set up here uh, for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and listen to that really quick, and then uh, we'll use the note repeat to come up with the hi-hats for this. All right, so as you can see, it's playing in one eighth note right now. I'm just holding down one button on the keyboard. Now you can, um, you know, go down an octave. And then use uh, the lower keys to change up the tempo. That's 116, 1 8 triplet, 1 quarter triplet. You can go down, so you'd have to go up one octave here. So you could do 1 quarter notes, or like, you know, switch between. So if you're recording something, you could switch between 1 eighth note and 1 eighth triplet, or 1 8 sixteenth. So, you know, it's really easy and you don't have to like constantly tap the keyboard uh, to get what you want. Again, so I'm holding C5 down. It's playing in 1 8th note right now. I could change that to 1 16th. Back to 1 8th. 1 32 triplet. 1 8th triplet. Back to normal note. So let's go ahead and uh, record something really quick and see how it picks up. Nice. And see how simple that was and easy. Now <clears throat> everything's already, uh, you know, quantized and in the right, uh, in the right time. So you don't have to worry about, you know, fixing things afterwards or anything like that. Nice and easy, fast way to, uh, to come up with some, some nice hi-hats. You guys definitely, you know, ask me about the note repeat tool. You've seen it in other tutorials, and I sort of wanted to highlight this and uh, let you guys see what it can do. Uh, if you have questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment sections below. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name's CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.